Hi there. <laughs> this is Dr. Embody with Project 10. This is a card game. You, uh, you did a card game in a lab a couple weeks ago. Uh, there's a lot of similarity between that. This is just a different card game. Use the same card file. And, uh, you know, so, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, there's a couple of things that I, I want to uh, emphasize here that you'll want to watch out for when you're developing this game as opposed to the one that you did in the, the lab. First of all, um, you know, make sure you play the game. Right? You know, it's hard to write a game if you can't play it. Uh, like, like the one in the lab, you know, this has two players and you're just really writing code that's managing the rules of it. It's not like it's uh, the kind of game where you're playing against the computer. Right? It would be a player, you choose a card, then you go to the other player, you choose a card, and and uh, and so on. So and and the, the that interaction is relatively simple. There's exactly two players, uh, and all you're doing with the cards is you're picking an index for the card. Um, so this so this is a, uh, a Middle Eastern game. S plays with a standard uh, 52 card deck. So you know all of that is the uh, is the same. So let's take a look at things. All right. So uh, th this is a long document, right? Uh, but that's long because we tell you a lot. Uh, and and let let me emphasize a few things here. So uh, you know, first of all, okay. So there's the basic idea of the game. There's a link so that you can play it, and by all means, go and play it. And then we have a bunch of functions, right? You know, lots of functions with, uh, you know, descriptions of how they work and so on. But if you look at these, a lot of the times, you know, we are actually outlining an algorithm. You know, if the table is empty, you do this. If the table is not empty, you do, you know, this and then this and then this. Right, so so there's a lot, you know. That's one of the things that, that we give you, and then uh, you know that you know how how in fact does does it work with uh, all the uh, all the data structures there, uh, you know. And here's the play. Look at that. It looks a lot like an algorithm. Um, so a couple of things that uh, I do want to emphasize, and that's that the uh, when you get down to the main. Right, which is the whole driver of this thing, uh, broke the game down here into, uh, you know, sort of describing it in a way that will help you develop the basic control, control structure uh, in the main part. All right? So uh, a game will have six rounds, right? and the players will alternate turns in that uh, until their hands are empty, All right? So, so you know, what is the first round? Begins with four cards dealt to each hand, and then four to the table. That is, we just used up twelve cards, and each subsequent round begins with four cards dealt to each hand, no cards dealt to the table. That is, now we're doing each eight cards each time, and because of that. There will be eight turns in each round because right? each player has four cards, and each turn they play one card. So there's eight cards to be played, and then after six rounds, there aren't any more cards in the deck to be dealt. So the game ends. So out of that, <clears throat> notice that um, you have six rounds. And there's eight turns in each round, so you know exactly, right? That just begs for a couple of for loops, so one for loop inside of another for loop, and then outside of that, there's a while loop. You do you want to play another game? All right, well that's pretty easy. But so in here, you have a loop within a loop, right? And and that will you know that and then within that, you know what are you doing? You're dealing cards, and then each card each time you're taking one card. And do, you know, and and doing it, doing something with that. So, if I if I scroll back here, um, 
Let me point out something that I think uh, has the potential to cause problems for you. And, and uh, let, let, let me pick this one in particular. All right, so this is the one where we're dealing the cards. Right? And, you know, and, and so, you know, it's not very complex. Um, you know, eat, and, and the ordering of dealing cards is really important, right? Because if you don't do that, don't do it uh, the specified way, and this is the way the rules are written, then uh, you won't pass any of the tests. So that's important. So, um, and, and so there's an order of dealing. Four cards go to player one, four cards go to player two, and then four cards go on the table. Notice it's not that we alternate. You know, it's not another card to each one. Uh, four cards, four cards in a row, and, and actually it makes it, it easier. And guess what? We have a deal function function that's in the card class that should say method. Uh, and 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 then after the first round, each player does it, and there's nothing dealt to the table. Okay, so so here you know we have as you you know we have a deck that we're dealing from. We're dealing to this list of cards for player one and for, uh, uh, you know, similarly for player two and then the ones that go on the table. And then we have one because we, we have to handle this situation of uh, is it the first round or not. So that's a Boolean that you have to work with, right? And a deck is, is, is a card deck. And these guys in here are lists uh, of cards. And what you don't want to have in this function, let me emphasize this, you do not, do not say something like P1 cards equals blah, blah, blah. What that's going to do is give you a local variable to replace that one, and, and you don't want to do it. You want to do methods on this. So, so you don't want to do that. You want to do things like P1 cards dot append. All right, and, and things like that. Um, you know, or clear, or whatever it is that, that, that you need to do. Um, so that you're you're not you're 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 not doing this and uh, wipe you know giving a new name and you're doing everything here and you know you're not taking advantage of the fact that because these are lists they're mutable and I want to be changing those so watch out for that as as, as you're doing less of a uh, you know you know here all you're doing is appending on here but there will be other ones where you're moving stuff from one list into another list, like, like taking it out of player one's hands and putting it into uh, this one. Right, well, you depend in here, but you got to take it out of here, so you would be doing, you know, like a P1 cards dot remove. Right? So, so there's a lot of this in, in some of these where we're removing it out of one list and we're appending it into the other list. Just watch out for that. Uh, that, you know, that that's a little thing that will trip you up. And so that, there's, you know, uh, we have a lot of functions. And so you get to uh, build this project piecemeal, function by function. Uh, many of these functions are just a few lines long so that you uh, uh, and, and we give you some functions so like like we give you this one um, and in fact this is kind of an interesting one uh, check out how, how it was written uh, Dr. Zabar did that one uh, you know other ones we give you nice little algorithm for that uh, you know special thing we're doing with the seven of diamonds and the and the jacks uh, look at that it, it looks an awful lot like an algorithm so so we're giving you, uh, you know, it's long, but it's long in order to, um, uh, you know, make it a little bit easier for you. Test one, we'll, we'll test some, uh, you know, error checking. 
uh, and then we'll go, you know, we, we'll do things like we'll do uh, part of a round, then we'll do a whole round, then we'll do a whole game. All right, hopefully that gives you uh, enough of an idea to get started on it.